All the airports have specific approach procedures and particularities that need to be carefully studied by the pilots. But some of them are situated in such remote locations and hostile environments that flying there is always a matter of life and death. Today, you are going to discover 10 of the most dangerous airports in the world. Make sure to stay until the end because I am convinced that number one is definitely something you would never want to try. But before we start, please like this video and subscribe to our channel to never miss any new uploads. All that said and done, let's dive right in. Number 10. McMurdo Air Station, Antarctica Although air travel is considered to be the safest means to travel, when it comes to the only airfield in Antarctica, the icy runway and extreme conditions send chills down the spines of those who have experienced it. Being the only runway for the U.S. Antarctic program, it can be used by medium to large size aircraft and is made up of compacted snow or white ice. In other words, there is sleek, manicured ice nicely frozen all over the runway, which is not entirely welcoming to the airplanes coming for a landing. Along with the constant threat of planes skidding over, there is also a danger of the ice cracking from the aircraft's weight. A C-121 slipped off the runway in 1970 and is buried deep into the snow till now. Number 9. Gibraltar International Airport Having designed the most unusual airport, the Gibraltar airport planners indeed had a hard time designing it. In fact, the runway intersects with the city's main road, causing inconvenience for both land and air traffic. Cars get blocked in the process, which is similar to making way for ducklings to cross. Ducklings that are less adorable and way more frustrating. Close calls are not uncommon in the history of the airport, making it quite dangerous and risky. Flying around the airport is not much adventurous and comfortable for the pilots, owing to the giant rock of Gibraltar and the Bay of Algeciras surrounding the airport. As if ensuring that the little cars do not get crushed while landing wasn't stressful enough, pilots have to deal with the extra difficulty of turbulence and extreme wind shear. Landings are very challenging with the added risk of the runway ending abruptly at sea, forcing the pilots to carefully manage the energy of the aircraft to ensure it stops on the runway. Number 8. Princess Juliana Airport, St. Martin Ever thought about being in danger while standing on the ground and not even sitting inside an airplane? This happens at the Princess Juliana Airport, which lies next to a crowded beach where the aircraft approaching for landing greet the visitors by flying only a few feet above their heads, knocking them down and engulfing them in large gusts of sand and powerful shockwaves. Unfortunately, this even killed the woman back in 2017. It is such a warm welcome for the curious sightseers who risk so much just to get the perfect Instagram shot. Flying that low for the pilots is not a real problem since the runway threshold is only a couple of meters away from the beach, and at this point, the aircraft needs to be at around 50 feet above the ground. This is basically done to ensure the aircraft lands on the available runway, which is only about 7,000 feet, making it the prime danger for huge, long-haul aircraft such as the Boeing 747. Number 7. Madeira International Airport, Portugal Despite being a popular tourist destination, this airport is definitely not for the faint-hearted ones to land. The element that makes this airport count amongst the dangerous ones is its spectacular and unusual construction to expand the runway. The runway is supported by 180 columns that are standing in the Atlantic Ocean. Pilots and passengers both must have the guts to actually use such a platform for aircraft operations. After a Boeing aircraft crashed in 1977, it was decided to extend the runway from 1,600 meters to 2,781 meters. What's even more terrifying are the rocky cliff sides and the ocean around the runway, bringing strong winds usually accompanied by severe wind shears and harsh weather conditions. Pilots need special simulator training to be qualified to fly to this airport. The last part of the approach is a visual segment, meaning they are navigating by spotting landmarks. To honor Cristiano Ronaldo, who was born on this island, the airport was named after him in 2017. Number 6. Juancho Rasquin Airport, Saba Island With a length of only 400 meters and in a dangerous location right next to the sea, this pitiful runway raises the following question. Why does this airport even exist? Built in the native island of our hero King Kong, this is the world's shortest runway with no room for a pilot to even sneeze at the wrong time as that would lead to the aircraft falling off the cliff right into the sea. Being roughly the size of four football fields, this harrowing airport is open for all sorts of disasters due to its location, making every landing a nerve-wracking challenge. Netherlands Antilles Civil Aviation Authority allows only regional propeller aircraft with specially qualified pilots to operate there. 
Perhaps taking a ferry would be a much safer option to visit this beautiful place. Number 5. Tonkantin Airport, Honduras Added to the History Channel's list of most dangerous airports, this airport literally makes flying a life and death matter. What makes this airport so challenging is that pilots are literally forced to make last minute changes. With rapid descent and sharp 45 degree turns to land the airplane without scraping the terrain. The short runway and the extreme wind gust contribute to making takeoffs and landings very stressful. Perhaps the most important feature that makes this airport deadly and dangerous is its high altitude, which is about 3,300 feet above sea level. Many crashes have occurred at this airport, some being a catastrophe killing all the occupants on board. Despite all the dangers, nothing stops this airport from being the second busiest in the country. Number 4. Narsarswak Airport, Greenland Strong winds low temperatures, low visibility, severe turbulence, a mountainous landscape with short frosted runways amidst fjords are some of the horrifying characteristics of this airport that might scare you enough to cancel your next Northern Lights trip. Built in a terrible location in 1941 by the U.S. Department of Defense to cater to larger aircraft needs, this airport was presented as a life-threatening gift to the country. The fact that there lies an active volcano right next to the airport makes one wonder why anyone would choose such a place, especially for an airport. Nowhere else a pilot has to contend with a mix of factors that literally make one's heart stop. Number 3. Courcheval Airport, France What makes this airport so challenging is the fact that it is a combination of terror as well as thrill. The French Alps are a site of picturesque scenery for the skiers who come to enjoy their vacation in the beautiful Alps. But for the pilots flying to this crazy dangerous airport, the Alps are rather pesky and problematic. The short 1,722-foot runway is literally on a cliff at one end, with a downward slope of 18.5 degrees. There have been viral videos on the internet of airplanes landing and taking off in these extreme conditions that prevail over the airport. As flying at this airport is not child's play, the bunch of wealthy skiers must avoid this by all means. Who wants to take back unpleasant memories from their trip, provided one even returns home safe? Number 2. Paro International Airport, Bhutan Are you ready to turn the smooth and pleasant experience of flying into a bitter nightmare? Then make sure to book your next flight to the tiny Seoul International Airport of Bhutan, which is tucked away in the 18,000 feet high Himalayas, where only a handful of pilots are qualified to take you there. Once the aircraft lands safely, everyone on board is relieved and the passengers cheer up, celebrating the mere fact that they are alive. While the experience at this airport is a very harrowing one, what makes it extreme for landings and takeoffs is that airplanes hate mountains more than anything. These mountains surround the country and conceal the runway until the last minute. During the whole approach, the pilots dodge in between the mountains. They can see the runway only when they are already very close to it, so a sharp turn is needed to align the aircraft with the runway. It is a gorgeous approach on a nice summer day, but it quickly becomes terrifying when weather conditions deteriorate. If you think you're ready, book a flight to Bhutan and test your courage. Number 1. Tenzing Hillary Airport, Nepal At number 1, we have the most terrifying teeny tiny airport that was named after the first two climbers who conquered the Mount Everest. With no go-around procedure, extreme terrain and a very short runway, it's not surprising to know that this airport was ranked number one on History Channel's list of most dangerous airports. Due to its location near the Mount Everest base camp, it is considered to be the highest airport and is the prime and busiest airport during the hiking season of Mount Everest. Many deadly accidents have resulted only in small propeller aircraft accessing the airport, as this is necessary to avoid the five-day trek after an 11-hour bus journey from Kathmandu, which is the only other option available to reach Everest. Yet, it is an awe-striking experience for those who take the risk. What about you guys? Which airport do you find the most dangerous from this top 10? Or maybe you know another terrifying airport that should have been included in this ranking. Let us know in the comments section down below. Want to watch more Aviation Top 10s? Click on any of the videos you see on your screen right now. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.